How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, we are finalizing the side stories in this episode. Depending on how long this one is, we might start up um, Sayori's route in the main story. If it hits 30 minutes or longer, then we won't, but if not, then definitely plan for that. Anyway, let's get into it. <clears throat> It's lunch time! Oh boy. Alright, where's Sayori? Where the hell is Sayori? Sayori, who usually buys her lunch, is making her way to the cafeteria like any other day. The clamor and bustle of the students is drowned by Sayori's impeccable skill of zoning out. However, her imagination is momentarily interrupted by the glimpse of a familiar pink-haired girl. Natsuki! Hey! Hey, that's Natsuki! I never, I never run into the other club members around the school. Natsuki! Sayori stands on her tiptoes and waves. Natsuki, who's busy walking and chatting with her friends, doesn't notice Sayori at, at first. Then... She glances over in Sayori's direction. Sayori waves enthusiastically. By the way, in case it's noticed, yes, I'm not wearing earbuds. That's because I have sound off for uh, specific reasons that are kind of irrelevant. Hi. Oh, boy. Following her friends, Natsuki quickly ducks around the corner. Hey! She definitely saw me. Oh, boy. I've actually been having problems with these things recently. Kind of. Monica is the first to arrive to the club meeting. It's not that they don't work, it's just that they're dead. Let's leave it at that. Sayori, having glanced through the window to see Natsuki already inside, is unable to work up enough courage to enter. Natsuki's been so distant with me. Oh, boy. I was stupid to think she ever wanted to be friends. She only got excited because she got to share her manga. But aside from that, she doesn't even like me. I should just go home today. Hello. Hi, Yuri. That was sudden. Sorry. Do you plan on going inside? No. Why? I'm sulking. Oh. Um. Well, I'm sorry for bothering you. Excuse me. No! Don't leave me! Uh, oh. I'll stay here then. I don't want to go in. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. I saw her at lunch today, so I waved and called out to her. But instead of saying hi, she just ran away from me. Really? Hmm. Not bad. What? Hey! S sorry. I'm sorry. That was a joke. It just sounded like something stupid I would that I would do from anxiety. From anxiety? Well, I just don't like attention being drawn to myself. Uh... I can understand that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, come on, Sayori. Well, that makes sense based on the person you are. Yeah, yeah. By the way, different controller. I usually don't use this one. Well, Natsuki isn't shy like that at all. That's not true. I thought we were friends. But it feels like every day she's just trying to distance herself more. Instead of getting closer. It makes me feel like she was only spending time with me during the club because I was reading manga. But she doesn't actually want to be friends with me. Um, well, I feel like I'm missing a lot of context here. Was she in the middle of anything when you approached her? No, she was just walking with her friends. With her friends? Yuri pauses for a moment. How do I put this? 
Sayori, you you're very fond of your friends, right? You always want to be spending time with them. Of course. I don't think there's anything more important to me. I mean, the best parts of my day are always with my friends. Besides, that I besides that, I really hate being alone. So you hate being alone? Yeah. Sayori nods. We're very different people. I cherish my time alone. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm kind of a mix of what Yuri and Sayori are. In that perspective. For me, it kind of just depends on the point in time. So I think... Well, if I was trying to have alone time, if I was being threatened with an interruption, then it just would not make me very happy. Yeah, that doesn't have to do with Natsuki. What if she's the same way? She was already with her friends, not trying to be alone or anything. No, I think it's similar. It's, well, we're all friends in the club, but we have our own lives outside of the club as well. If you think about it, making new friends isn't some casual occurrence that happens on a daily basis. That is definitely true. I can concur to that. A friendship is an invitation to intertwine your lives together. That's a good way of putting it, actually. I like that. But the capacity at which each person is ready to do that might be different. Yeah. There are friends who just like to have fun together. And others who talk every day and share every detail of their lives with each other. I think when establishing a friendship, it's important to consider the comfort level of the other person. That's good advice. That is really good advice. All right, just checking out something really quick. Okay. I mean, we don't really know much about Natsuki's life outside of the club. It could be that she simply needs to make friends at her own pace. Rather than jump headfirst into a new commitment. But that means it really was bothering her. Well, yes, but not intentionally. I just really wanted to be good friends with her, so I treated her like one. Was I actually hurting her? Mm, hurting? No. Overwhelming? Yeah. There's a difference. I don't know. I'm sorry. Just talk to her about it simple as that. Just talk to her about it. My insight was really only based on what I understand about my own needs. Technically, you were dead spot on, though, Yuri. You were spot on. I don't think she knows this, but she was spot on. This is like the one similarity between Yuri and Natsuki. The rest of it's just out the window. The Natsuki and I are completely different, so... <laughs> Why was I so selfish? Even if all that is true, then it still means I hurt her. I think I messed up. Well, this is an easy fix kind of thing, though. Yuri, with you, I, I think I was really careful to understand your needs when I was becoming friends with you. I wasn't careful at all with Natsuki because she already seemed really social. I just took control of everything instead of looking for the right balance. Now I hurt her and she doesn't want to talk to me. How could I let this? How could I let myself do this? Um, Sayori? I think that. Well, there was one time you told me something about the way I saw things in my head being different from reality. I already know what she's gonna say. She's gonna, like, basically listen to your own damn advice, Sayori. It's easy to automatically jump to the worst case scenario, but I think it's more likely that Natsuki doesn't harbor any ill feelings towards you. So I think if we were to realistically consider the situation and how it would cause someone to feel, um, I I'm bad at this. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You really are not. You're a lot better than me at things like comforting and reassuring people. Perhaps, but you're extremely good at giving advice. 
there is a big difference between the two, and they do connect in some kind of way. Suddenly, Sayori gives Yuri a gentle hug. You're the best, Yuri. I'm sorry for burdening you with this. You're trying so hard for me. You're such a sweetheart. I, I just... It's not a burden. I enjoy listening to others. Deuce. <laughs> Remember how I said I'm a lot like kind of a mix of these two? There's your proof. I said I agree with both ends, so... And my friends deserve happiness. Sayori beams. Well, I think I'm gonna give Natsuki some space. She should do what she wants. And if she does still want to be friends, then I'll learn her needs and I'll match her boundaries. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's best. You're not, you're, yeah. I wish I didn't feel so awful and guilty. That's where Sayori and I hit base a lot of the time. I very easily get there. So I get it. It makes me feel it makes me feel desperate. Like I need to make it up to her by trying to make her happy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's not what she needs. I just have to tell myself that. It hurts. But I guess it means I still need to grow. Yeah, that's understandable. I really want to grow as a person. If it's to be better for my friends, I want that. That's very mature of you, Sayori. <laughs> I'm mature! Sayori hops up and down on... And there it goes. It's just out the window. So, does that mean you'll be going home after all? Sayori shakes her head. I need to be here to show her that I respect her space. I'll just spend the club by myself today. Yuri nods in understanding. You can go in first. Okay. You're blocking the door. <laughs> Good job, Sayori. <laughs> oh. Sayori. <laughs> By the way. Before Yuri enters the club room, Sayori interjects. You said that you and Natsuki are completely different. But I don't really think that's true. It's not. On a mental standpoint, it really isn't. Maybe on like uh, how like the kind of things they like literature-wise, but otherwise they're not as different as Yuri thinks. I think you're actually really similar in a lot of ways. Yuri smiles and shakes her head. Sorry, that's absurd. In a mental standpoint, it's not. It's actually very accurate. You're very silly sometimes. Yuri turns and enters the club room. After a moment, Sayori follows. Ta da! That better not be the end of that. That would be a weird ending. The club room is quiet. And it would have been probably the shortest story in the bunch. When Sayori walks in, Natsuki glances in her direction. Sayori smiles and gives Natsuki a quick wave before sitting down across the room. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Sayori decides it's best to continue the manga she was reading, so she pulls it out. However, looks like Natsuki isn't reading today. She has a sheet of paper in front of her and is tapping a pen against her desk, staring at it. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, are we writing today? I don't, I don't remember the voice I gave her. Oh my gosh. Oh, are we writing today? There it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pink. Uh, IRL Pink Fox. I'm sorry. I know you don't like that, but honestly, given her character, I've said this before, it's probably the closest you can come. Monica speaks in a quiet voice, unwilling to disturb the peace of the classroom. She kneels down at Natsuki's desk. Hey! Natsuki pulls the sheet closer to her and covers it with her arms. Sorry. I didn't mean to peek. No, oh, really. Whatever. I just wanted to see how everything was going. Okay, fine. Um, are you okay, Natsuki? Natsuki replies dismissively. She glances over at Sayori, who is focused on her manga. Monica follows Natsuki's gaze. Pink came mad at me. Oh, boy. How come? I'm, I'm busy right now. Ask me later. Monica 
falls silent. Natsuki looks back down at her paper. She inches her hand away from the top margin, allowing Monica to see. It says, to Sayori. Understanding, Monica smiles, places a hand on Natsuki's shoulder, and whispers softly. I'm proud of you. Natsuki looks away, but makes no motion to remove Monica's hand. Monica give Na gives Natsuki's shoulder a quick squeeze before standing back up and pulling away. Hmm. Interesting. The end of the club meeting passes. Yuri has already departed. So has Monica. After checking on Sayori and Natsuki to ensure they wouldn't stay too late. Sayori was determined to finish her manga volume before heading out, since the end was approaching. However, with Natsuki also staying late for an unknown reason, a silent tension hangs in the air. After finishing the volume, Sayori brings it to the closet to put it away. She slides it back onto the shelf while Natsuki watches. Then, Natsuki gets up and pulls it back out in order to return it to its proper location. Sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. Ugh, I can't speak now. I'm mixing up voices. I didn't know where it's supposed to go. It's fine. The two fall silent again, avoiding eye contact. Both look like they're about to say something, but neither can break the silence. A moment passes. Well, I'll be on my way. See you tomorrow. Mm. Sayori turns away to hide her pained expression, then walks away from the closet. If there was any proof Natsuki no longer wanted to be friends, this was it. Defeated, Sayori carries herself out of the club room. Oh boy. Once in the hallway, Sayori is sitting on my foot, now it's asleep. Holy crap, yeah, it's, it's way beyond asleep. Holy crap. Once in the hallway, Sayori takes a deep breath and hits her palms against her cheeks to clear her head a little. Um. Suddenly, Natsuki's stammering voice calls from behind. Huh, wonder where this is gonna go. Natsuki? Startled, Sayori turns back around to face Natsuki. Oh, this is a new image. Um. Okay. Natsuki fidgets and anxiously continues with a shaking voice. Sayori is shocked, and Natsuki's nervous? Huh. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, foot is very, foot, my foot is very dead asleep. I'll be right back. Give me a sec. Should I make it a point that I am literally on my feet and numb, numb? I literally, so the break was because I actually went outside of the room for a bit to walk around, and foot is still numb. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's sit back down and continue with the story, shall we? Okay. Double that a little bit. There we go. Okay. Natsuki fidgets and anxiously continues a shaking voice. I, I have a lot of things to say. Oh boy. Me too. But you go first. Natsuki bites her lip and can't stay still. Well, first of all. Um. Well, first of all. I'm not even going to do that. I normally do because I know it's one that matches her personality, but this is way too serious, I feel like. Cuts herself short, struggling to continue. Trying to force the words out, she stamps her foot and hops up and down a little. I'm 
sorry for the thing I did at lunch. I'm sorry for just being kind of mean lately. It's really hard for me to like, I mean, I I'm not good with things that make me uncomfortable. Especially when it comes to like, like, feelings and stuff. So... Face burning, Natsuki clams up again. Instead of continuing, she simply holds up a sheet of paper for Sayori to take. She was writing down her thoughts, I'm assuming. Would make the most sense. The best place in the world. I love my bedroom. It's full of bright colors and soft things. The sunlight shines in and makes everything sparkle. It's the, it's the best place in the world. It has all my treasures, all my books, my collections, my memories. All of my dreams are born in this room. It's the best place in the world. It has all my secrets, all my failures, my fears, my feelings. Sometimes it feels so fragile, the door will break at the slightest touch. But it's still the best place in the world. This is impressive. Forget the poems she did back in, like, the actual mainline game. This is impressive. But when someone knocks, I get scared. I brace my arms against the list hinges. Please don't break. Don't come in. I'm not ready. It's my best place in the world. The knocking won't stop. I block the door with furniture. An eye peeks through the keyhole. Then I panic. I'm trapped in the best place in the world. I'm not ready to share my favorite place. I need to clean my secrets and make my bed to hide my nightmares. I need to touch them to put them... What? Touch or tuck? Eh, we'll go with touch, I guess. I need to touch them to put them away. To see them again. I have so much to do and I'm scared. I'm not ready. But it's still my favorite place. I still want to share it, however long it takes. If you wait patiently, I'll eventually open the door, and I'll show you the best place in the world. That is impressive. That is an impressive poem. It's a poem. But I thought... Well, I sucked it up so that I could work things out with you. So just, just be happy about it. Please? Sayori smiles deeply from the bottom of her heart. I'm happier than I could express. I feel so awful, but I'm so happy. And you would do this for me. I actually realized before the club meeting today that I made a mistake. I got so caught up in the chance to get close to you that I forgot to think about what you wanted. And that we probably have different ways we like to make friends. Um, about, like, the friendship stuff. I mean, it's okay. I understand. You don't have to force yourself to talk about it. Your poem did a good job. So don't force yourself if you're not ready yet, okay? Natsuki nuts. You don't have to feel like you did anything wrong. It was my fault, and I'm sorry. I wasn't mad at you today or anything like that. I actually felt really guilty and wanted to give you space. I was thinking it's silly that I just approach you all the time, and that I should just let you approach me when you want to. Just whatever makes you comfortable. I'll respect that from now on. Friendships should always start with those things. That is very true. With the right balance. Natsuki nods again. One thing about that. Hmm? Well, I don't want to have to approach you all the time either. I just want it to be balanced. Like you said. Sayori nods. I understand. We'll make sure of that together, then. 
Okay. Well, anyway. Now that the two of them have found common ground, Natsuki finds it easier to speak more freely again. I'm not gonna be, like, sharing my poems all the time now or anything like that, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to do once in a while. Only the best ones. Fair enough. I guess that also kind of explains why some of the poems she writes in the mainline story, some of them are actually very professionally written, and the others are, well, they're all professionally written, just some of them seem a bit more cute than others. But I think that, that would explain why. It's just because she doesn't like, it, she wants to give a lot of time and thought to it. When you have one day. How the hell are you supposed to come up with something good in one day? So you better like them, because otherwise I might change my mind. I like anything you do, Nazi. That's weird. Uh, I was just saying. More importantly, I have to tell you about my new boyfriend. Huh? 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Huh? manga? Wait, I need to guess who it is. Now I can give her the voice that she had before. You definitely won't be able to guess. The two walk down the hallway together. Oh my god, we have so much to talk about. Darn, I should have told you to save the last two chapters so I could see your reaction to the big reveal. Oh, you wanted to enjoy it with me. That's okay. So oh. Oh, shut. <laughs> okay, then. Well, that one was a little bit more extensive. Not quite 30 minutes, but long enough to where I can kind of take it that way, I guess. <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> what is this? What? Are we now in the realm of, like, what is it even called? I don't even remember. Um, like those cu just cute Japanese anime girl kind of realm thing where they're just like, Wing! I don't even know. Let's see. Wait, what is this? Finish the side story balance too. Ah. I'm assuming the last two wallpapers will be unlocked based off what the last side story is. Okay, that explains that. I actually like that poem a lot. What are these other poems? What is this? Hmm. And then there are these. That one, which... Okay, I wonder what the other ones are. These two are probably... I don't know. A bit confusing to me. Hmm. I wonder what the other CGs are going to be. And then I found no secrets, apparently. Because I'm just bad at secrets. What is this last one? That's what I'm wondering. What is the last one going to be? And then the sketches. Have we gotten anything new yet? And promos, I, who knows? Who no knows? Okay. Any mail yet? Absolutely not. Files are no different than before. Um, there's no new music. Okay, well, as I said, well, I, I kind of just, I was lingering in that aspect of like just going okay let's make up for some time while we do stuff which one's supposed to be the okay so I'm assuming I'm going to ugh, I don't even know you know what? yeah 
to make things simple, I'm gonna leave things here. Next time we will be doing um, Sayori's route in this and stopping right before we, where we actually progress in the story. Uh, because after that, we'll have one more side story. Well, two technically, but one, one two-part side story. Let's put it that way. Um, after that. Again, I am going to leave this video here, though, so we can separate the side stories from the main story. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got a suggestion for a visual novel you'd like to see on here, or uh, let me know in the comments below. Want to check out one I've done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right hand corner to try and take it to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, uh, click the one across right here in the train to take it there. But in the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!